This is Becky Legiro here with Brian X. Charles of Money Button. We are at uh, Quinky Toronto 2019, and I saw you at the Bitcoin Association Wallet Workshop. Lots of collaboration going on, and here at this conference, we are seeing the fruits of this in the form of PayMail. So, can you describe to our audience what PayMail is all about and why that is exciting for us? I believe we basically solved the identity problem. I mean, what we've done is create a standard protocol that anyone can use that allows you to do basically everything related to identity. It sounds so general yeah, yeah. that it sounds like, what does that really mean? Well, I can <laughs> give concrete examples, like I want to be able to do things like tweet on the blockchain and have people follow me. This lets you do that. I also want to be able to do other things like come up with actual legal agreements with people, have people sign them by swiping money button, and agree and I know that I'm engaging with who I expect because it's their pay mail. Like that is how the communication occurs. That is the thing that you're signing it with. So the contracts get signed with this. We can even have things like your known full name can actually be attached to that. So it, it's just your signature. But it's actually a legal contract that is also stored, encrypted, accessible to whoever has the keys. So you share the keys with whoever has access to it, to view. Permanent, immutable. It, it solves all of these problems. We can solve just about anything else uh, related to identity. And Ryan, all of this is, is possible on the BSV chain because of its ability to scale. This is one of the massive points we're trying to make here at the conference. Can you just describe to our audience why it is so essential to scale massively in order for the ecosystem to move forward? Well, I mean, even for one company, you look at just like you start running numbers on what it would mean to actually use this in a real business. Individual companies can often need terabyte sized blocks just by themselves, depending on what they do. So we need to scale massively because we're going to put more than just one company. We're going to put entire world's economy on the blockchain. So the reason why that matters is it's not even just payments. It's you actually can put real data on the blockchain too. And so the sizes start getting very, very large. If you need properties like I really want this contract to be encrypted, but also stored permanently and immutably, so that no one can alter it after the fact, you put the actual contract on the blockchain. That takes data, okay? And you start doing other things, like what if I want to create a movie? You might sell the movie on the blockchain. The entire movie's on the blockchain. In fact, it's actually a lot more extreme than that. Because in producing the movie, you have a bunch of people. You have one company that does it, they hire contractors, other companies. They're using this technology inside to produce the movie so that the amount of data is actually vastly larger than the final product. So the amount of data, we easily get up to petabytes, petabyte-sized blocks, just based on numbers like what we do today. But then you start thinking about what are we going to do in the future? It's going to be even bigger. So, I mean, the only way to solve all of these issues simultaneously is really, really, really big scale. We're looking towards solutions here in the BSP world. I know if anyone that follows crypto, there's so much fighting and my chain's better than your chain and this and that and pettiness, right? So tell me the importance of, of events like this where people are here collaborating, coming up with things like PayMail and why this is pushing the BSV industry forward. Well, I mean, from my perspective, uh, coming to a conference like this, what we're doing is we're in the real world. We're real businesses. We're solving real problems for real people. The rest of the cryptocurrency industry, by and large, and I don't mean to offend all of them, but <laughs> many of them are not really in the real world. They're in the crypto world. They've created their own world, and they're servicing customers in their world. That's just not the world we're in, okay? We're in the world of things like, you know, real movies, things like, you know, real legal contracts, things like actual governments, you know? This isn't about anarchy, okay? This is about things like the government should be able to use this and they should be able to do everything that they need to do to secure data at a level that actually works for governments. So, I mean, this is about everyone. This isn't about the cryptocurrency industry. This is real businesses, real people. An amazing perspective as always, Ryan X. Charles, thank you so much for joining me and have a wonderful time in Toronto. Thank you very much. This is Becky Legero. Thank you for watching CoinGeek.com.